Follow your dreams, they say. But what does that even mean from the Millennium Goals to the SDGs? We've listened to promises. Frontline witness the deep-rooted challenges, places where ambitions are diminished, where racism and barriers, barriers hold back our children, generation after generation. Innocent lives plagued by violence, by blown up infrastructures, by conflict and poverty cycles that find them even when they migrate. Life is what you make it, you say. But our cultures, global systems and policies are one directional narrative influenced by philosophers, kings, and legislators that didn't have this skin pigment. So how are we transforming education and embracing globalization? There's no melanin in the books that we're studying, no representation of our greatness, yet we're expected to excel in conditions that shatter self-esteem and perspectives on who and what we can be. We have murders happening in classrooms, and I mean that literally and metaphorically, as we are losing geniuses from young intersectional minds disengaged from Orientalism and worldwide approved curriculums that have no diversity, no neurodiversity in their learning methodology. We cannot choose to standardize what it means to be human, then become confused by the many gaps that continue to persist in our society. We created this divide. Let this summit be the start to truly activate action, no more silencing passions, we are voicing voices. Redesigning outdated structures that have led to wars, economic devastations, and honestly, blatant discrimination. Collectively, we will end pandemics accustomed to old costumes. We are the vaccines. We will make room for innovation, invest in sustainability, and facilitate inclusive conversation. That's collaboration, that's transformation, that's education. Above all, we want to trust that. To know you know, we know what is best for us. We know what is right for us, what works for us. So to ag attain Agenda 2030, we ask you, let's put in place opportunities that propel our youth and women into leadership. Let's immerse ourselves in discussions where we are sharing a common agenda to leave no one behind to the 1.2 million youth, keep faith. Stand tall and proud in everything you have to offer and accept nothing less. Release yourself from all forms of restrictions and celebrate every part of who you are. To my Menelios, we are carrying the burdens of intergenerational and normalized oppression, but we also possess empathy and the required agile leadership to change. We are the warriors that survive systemic levels of injustices, but it ends with us. We will not pass it on to our leaders. We do not need to be praised for our resilience, for how far we've come, for how passionate we are for a change that doesn't even have our address. We want you to lead, to stand by your words and truly transform education in a way where we are all included. Thank you very much.